been an artist for oh at least 25 years. How I started was kind of interesting. I started not as an artist, but as someone that wanted to build furniture. And uh, that was self-serving because um, when we moved into this house, for example, I needed shelves, I needed cabinets, and then in the next garage bay, um, you, you could actually see the results of my, my furniture making uh, uh, avocation. However, what I, one day I realized I needed some, um, I need to do something other than rectangles. You know, if you think about it, a lot of furniture is just, it's rectangles. And that's fine. In fact, there's some wonderful pieces that have been developed over the years for exactly that purpose. So uh, in my quest to add some interest, something other than rectangles, uh, it dawned on me that I could use a, uh, a lathe to create uh, balusters and different types of uh, wood turnings that could be applied to furniture. What I didn't realize at that moment was that I was actually, uh, the hook had been set and it, and it didn't take me more than about 20 minutes after I got my first lathe to realize I didn't care so much about the furniture anymore and I wanted to do, I wanted to really spend a lot of time and do a deep dive into the world of wood turning, which is infinite by the way. A lot of times I'll grab a piece of lumber or timber or limbs you know, or chunks, we call them all different things. Uh, but the bottom line is I'll grab a piece and uh, I'll use it to test things. I'll, I'll test different designs, I'll test different uh, uh, cutting techniques. Uh, and in fact, just recently there's a piece sitting down over here to my right that um, I use to develop or test out my uh, texturing and carving skills. And once I get you know, the, once I have the plan or an idea and I have the, the chunk of wood, then I step up to the lathe. And from there, uh, again, it depends on the specific type of project that I'm doing. This morning what we'll do is a, a little bowl, something really, really simple. So that defines the way that the, the piece of stock is positioned on the, uh, on the lathe. I'll assemble my tools, I sharpen them, which I just did. <clears throat> I'll make sure that my safety equipment is ready to go because no one in this shop can get away with not wearing safety equipment, whether you're working or bystander. Uh, once I've got all that going, then I start the, the, the wood turning process. And that proceeds for however long it takes to you know, develop the shape and uh, you know, get it into a, <clears throat> a reasonably finished state. And the reason I say reasonably, uh, way up top there, um, in, in my loft, I have a bunch of bowls that I had turned, in some cases, 15 years ago. And when I turned them, the wood had just been uh, felled. It, it, we don't chop trees down. We try to find wood that's been already laying on the ground. And um, when we can, we harvest that, that wood. It's green. It's green wood, like what we see out in the woods, it is at least 50% water. And that's a problem. It's a problem mainly because as the wood dries out, water leaves, it creates incredible stresses in the wood. And if you can't control those stresses, the wood cracks. And at some point, you have to toss it and it becomes firewood. So that's kind of you know, where the whole thing, how it all kind of comes together. Thank you.